welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun surprise because I have a lot of new additions to my kimono collection. So I discovered eBay auctions for kimono and obi and I might have gotten a little carried away. But what really hooked me is that I found this shop on eBay uh, whose auctions usually start at one dollar. Can you believe it? One dollar? So yeah, that really got me. <laughs> and that's how I ended up with this big haul for you today. So as I said, I found this shop called Seoul Japan on eBay. And they do sell uh, like ready to ship items, but they also have auctions. And that's how I found out that they have a lot of $1 starting bids. And so for a collector that's just starting like me, that was a really great way to start to build up my collection some more. So I got quite a lot of kimono and obi, so I'm gonna go through them with you and try them out. The reason that they're a dollar is that these are vintage and antique kimonos. I am not quite sure when these kimono are from. If there's an expert watching this, I would love your opinion. Uh, so, But they are secondhand and have been used, so some of them do have some stains or some uh, marks from old age, but a lot of them, I already was looking through some of it, they look amazing. And especially for that low price, you really can't go wrong with that. Okay, let's go. Okay, I've got my Nagachupan on, so let's try on the first kimono. Okay, first up, I have this gorgeous like green tea kimono. It's a stunning green shade. And this is probably the one in the highest condition. I haven't seen any spots and it looks pretty brand new even though it's vintage. And I have my laptop here for reference of each item. So this one uh, started at $1 for the bidding and I grabbed it for $6. <laughs> But little disclaimer on Seoul Japan, even though the starting bids are really, really low, each item does cost you $10 in shipping, which is still a great deal, especially since it comes from Osaka, Japan. So shipping alone is an amazing price. And then the kimono itself was only $6. So a total of 16. And this one is silk. So silk for $16? I'm hooked. <laughs> to keep it a little more faster, I have not put an obi and I don't think I will for any of these kimono uh, besides the ones that I got an obi for. But here it is, the green kimono. And it is just so, so stunning. I'm so in love with the color. And you can see the details here on the shoulder. And it's a little tricky to show you the bottom, but hopefully this is a good shot. Don't mind the messy bags over here. But here is the bottom part. And it is also decked out in the florals and gold. And also there's the detail of like a house here too. Hopefully you can see that. It's a very elegant design and I'm I'm so I'm so happy. <laughs> here is the second kimono and it is a yellow one. Also an antique silk kimono. And I again fell in love with the really pretty yellow color and the floral details. And this piece is also in excellent condition. I do see some very, very tiny little spots that you probably can't even pick up from the camera. But there are some tiny little brown spots that I believe are from old age of uh, the silk. Just look at this pattern, it's so beautiful! And the inside is also a really pretty, like, corally orange color. Okay, so let's put it on. Okay, here is kimono number two. These silk kimonos are, for lack of a better word, so silky and smooth. 
and they're really light too. So this one also has the shoulder detailing, super pretty. And here is the bottom. This one is really perfect for the springtime with the florals. They're so cute. So this yellow kimono started at a dollar and I got it for a dollar. There were no other bidders, so I just put in the starting bid and I won. And since this one is like an orangey yellow color palette, I wanted to try putting this obi on with it. This is a Maru obi and it was one of the more expensive pieces that I got, but it is so gorgeous and so worth it. This one I got for $16, so a total of $26 with shipping, but it is truly a piece of art. Maru obi are one of the more intricate and decorated type of obi because they were used by Maiko or Geisha apprentices. And the way that Michael would wear these obi would be uh, a musubi or obi knot that was uh, longer. So you could really see the designs. And so this one has a really, really gorgeous uh, sparrow. It is just breathtaking. And if you look closely, you can really see all of the really detailed embroidery. Just the artisanship just takes my breath away. And so this side has the sparrow, but on the other side is more gorgeous artwork with fans, houses, and a crane. And a lot of people like to collect obis to display them as artwork. You would hang them up uh, like a tapestry. And this one is definitely worth hanging up. But for my case, I'm gonna try to wear it. So here is the Maru Obi all tied up. The Otaiko Musubi knot uh, is a great way to show off the artwork. And then we get more of that gorgeous brocade at the front. I think it goes really well with this yellow kimono. What do you think? So this is the last kimono that I got individually as opposed to I got a set as well. Uh, so this one is another antique silk. And this one was $3.25. So a total of $13. And the website said that this one was also uh, in excellent condition like the other ones that I've tried on already. Uh, and while it does look beautiful, uh, I do see a lot of stains. And it's the only one that unfortunately I thought had a lot less uh, excellent condition. So as you can see in on the inside, the lining has turned like a coppery yellow color. And this, I found out, is because of the silk aging process. So this one, I think, is really old. And so has already turned this coppery color. I'm not sure if it'll pick up on camera, but there are some, like, coppery brown stains as well on the sleeves. But it's still absolutely beautiful, and there aren't too many things to worry about still. And for $13, I am not mad. <laughs> I just didn't really agree with the condition rating on the website. It is definitely not the same as the previous two. This one has some stunning colors and embroidery as well. This one has embroidery with gold thread on this flower and some of the bottom ones as well. Here is kimono number three. The colors on these kimono are just so, so beautiful. Here's the detailing on the shoulder. And taking it down to the bottom to see the leg. I think it would 
would only really notice the old age stains if you look really closely or of course on the inside and nobody's gonna see that except for me so I think we're all good. I thought I could show you guys the second obi that I got. This is a fukuro obi, which is one of the more formal types of obi, and it has some gold and silver embroidery. But this one was also a $1 starting bid, and I won it for $1. And I also got this one because there is uh, an old style carriage on the embroidery that really reminded me of the obi that I wore for the Cinderella furisode for my Kimono Princess project. So here I have the last five kimono that I got, uh, and these five were part of a set. So they were sold at auction as a bundle. I actually really fell in love with these first two because of the pastel-y, colorly colors and this really pretty blue one. Uh, I didn't care too much about the last three, but since they were a bundle, uh, I couldn't really choose. Uh, but they will still be very much appreciated in my collection and I'm sure I can find some accessories that will go really well with them. Speed round! So here is the blue one, kimono number four. Four? Yes, four. <laughs> and I really like the combination of this really powdery blue color with silver and pinks. This one reminded me a little bit of Cinderella. Cinderella is usually marketed in a blue dress, but she originally had like a silvery white dress. Uh, so this more like silvery powder blue color made me think of her. And here is the bottom of the kimono. And this one is also in really great condition. I spotted no <laughs> spots on this one. It honestly looks completely brand new to me. So the bundle cost me $16.50. So five kimono for $16.50. So next kimono in the bundle. This one I can't really show you that well because unfortunately it looks like it is too small for me. Not for the waist, but the length. I can't really make the extra fold here for the obi and this one is cotton and so it feels more like a yukata which is like a casual uh, kimono that you would wear in the summer so because it's cotton it's really breathable and it would definitely be really great in the hot weather but it definitely doesn't feel as like luxurious as the previous kimono that we've tried on yay the green one does fit better and this isn't one that I would really pick out for myself, uh, but I do really like it. I don't wear a lot of like greens in general, but I'm really happy with this one and like the previous green one that we tried on. So again, here's a little close up of the pattern. And the bottom is just the same. It's an all around style. Okay, yeah, I am not sure about this one. So, like, the base is, like, a cream color. And, again, it has, like, these... <laughs> looks like four-leaf clovers, green flowers, and little vines with red uh, dots. And there are also some red fans throughout the pattern. Looking from far away, it's not too bad. But I'm just, it doesn't really make me excited or happy to wear it. But again, maybe I'll find some accessories that'll match well with this one. But for right now, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> and last kimono here. Uh, this one is the one that I really wanted from this bundle. Uh, because it has these pastel pink, uh, blue, and yellow color palette. And again, more flowers. So this was the one that I really definitely got the bundle for. By the time you see this video, my fifth annual IS Small World Parade would have premiered. I'm just giving myself a lot of time to edit all of this. Uh, but this is the piece that uh, I want to wear for the parade this year. 
I think it'll go really well with the small world colors as well. Before I put it on, I wanted to sh show a disclaimer again of the condition. So this one was also rated excellent, but as you can see, it also has the coppery color uh, stains on the inside due to old age. But compared to that blue embroidery one, this one I don't see any stains on the outside. I do think it's only the old stains on the inside lining, which is not really a problem for me. Ta-da! Here is kimono number 8. And as I expected, I really, really love these pastel colors. I think they look so cute. And also with the more saturated florals, I think it's a really great combination. There are some more little flowers here on the sleeves. And then at the bottom are some more detailing. So that was my giant eBay kimono haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing me try these on so we can see it all together. I'm curious which one you guys like the most. I think I'll have to go with this one and the green one. I think these are the ones that I definitely fell in love with. But I am just really happy with all of these new pieces that I can add to my growing collection. In December, I bought my very first kimono for myself uh, for my graduation photo shoot and that was kimono number one and then I got two more kimonos from a really sweet student that I t uh, was TA for at my university and now I have all of these new ones. So now I have a total of 11 pieces in my collection. I am beyond happy with the quality of these antique and vintage pieces and I'm really thankful to have access to these pieces. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!